Hello, it's Marco here and I'm lazy. So what do I mean by that? I can select the one bone here, press G, move it around, and that animates the whole jizzle jazzle caboozle. So there's gonna be quite a few tips to so make sure you pay attention to this because trust me, it will save you in the long run. So from here, what I'm gonna do is Alt H and unhide my bones. I'm gonna select my control bone first, shift left click on the bone that I want the IK on, press shift I, and I'm going to add IK to active bone. Boop. There we go. So now if I select this and go G, it goes all jingly, jangly, jingly. So what we need to do here is select the yellow bone, come over into the constraints. And what we need to do is change the chain length. So what this chain length is, is how many bones is it going to be affecting? So for instance, um, we've got zero at the moment, which is everything. One will just be the one bone, two goes to here, and I think I need four, so it goes to the top of that bone. So now if I press G on the control bone, you can see that it moves around. Now with the pipes, I do have another video on how I did that, link in the description. But here are some little tips and tricks. At the moment, if I were to select my main bone and go G, it doesn't move. So if you want the uh, the control bone to move with the body bone. We select the control bone, come over into add body constraint, bone constraint, sorry. Click uh, child of, and what I'm gonna do is select the armature. And I'm going to select, I believe it's bone, which is my main body. So now if I select the body and go G, there we go. Everything moves around yo little ripper. Let's press G, there we go. And we can just kind of move around, start adding in keyframes by pressing the I key. Very simple, very quick, setting up an IK so we can animate with just one bone rather than a million. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. It's just, just what I do.